Hi, question number six taken from A level maths HSC P3 2016. Uh, by sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that the equation cosec a half x is equal to one third x plus one has one root in the interval between zero and pi. Okay, so let's do the first part. Question number six. First part, we need to sketch the graph of y is equal to cosec half x. You remember the graph goes like this, and this one's going to be pi, this is going to be 1. Here you've got y axis, x axis, the other one is y is equal to 1 third x plus 1. So, 1 third y intercept is 1, so the graph's going to go like this. Alright, so here we are. for the sketching of this graph shown one root now um, for the second part show by calculation that there is a there lies a root between uh, 1.4 and 1.6 okay so the graph is like this so I'm going to take cosec x is 1 over sine of half x Okay, send this on this side becomes one, minus one third x minus one is equal to fx. If you were to put 1.4 in here, you're going to end up with 1 over sine of 0 0.7 minus 1.4 divided by 3 minus 1, which is going to give you 0 0.0856. Zero three and so on. If you do for 1.6, then you're going to get 1 over sine. 1.6 times half is 0 0.8 minus 1.6 over 3 minus 1, and that's going to give you 0. Point, minus 0 0.072658 and so on. So since f1.4 times f1.6 uh, gives a negative value therefore there lies a root between root alpha between these two intervals here we are for the second part for the third part, we need to show that uh, uh, this equation x, which is equal to 2 inverse sine of 3 over x plus 3, if it converges, then it converges to, there's a sequence of values there, and, uh, given by the iterative, then iterative formula converges, then it converges to the root in, in part 1. It converges to this root. We need to convert this into that. Okay, so... Let's do it. What is x equal to 2 sine? So you can send the 2 on the other side, becomes half x. The inverse sine is going to come on the other side, it's going to become sine of half x is equal to then 3 over x plus 3. And uh, of course, um, 1 over sine of half x is going to be the inverse of this one, x plus 3 over 3. 1 over sine of half x is cosec half x is equal to x divided by 3 is 1 third x 3 over 3 is 1 shown here we are for the fourth part we need to calculate the root correct to three decimal places okay this by using this iterative formula the iterative formula is this so we're going to have to f find an initial value of x what is the initial value of x it is 1.4 plus 1.6 which is which is then 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so 1.5 x is going to be 2 inverse sine of 3 divided by x is 1.5 1.5 plus 3 is 4.5 okay if you work that out in your calculator you're going to end up with okay 3 divided by 1.5 no, sorry, 3 divided by 4.5 and the inverse sine of the answer. This much times 2 is going to give you 1.5459454. 4, 
to five decimal places. We have to give each iteration according to the question to five decimal places. So then the second value of x is going to be this much. 3 divided by this plus 3 because uh, here we are x plus 3. So if you plus 3 you're going to get um, you just add 3 to this 4.495 and if you work this out in your calculator this time you're going to end up with 1.47 5, 7, 8. x is equal to 2 inverse sine of 3 over this plus 3 now is 4.47578 and if you work this one out you are going to come to this value 1.46916 you can check it out in your calculator 2 inverse sine of um, this time 3 divided by 3 plus this is 4.46916 and this time you're going to end up with 1.47075 and again x is equal to this time 2 inverse sine of 3 divided by 4.47 this time 0.75 and this is going to give you 1. Point, um, let's do it now so 3 divided by 4 4.47075 inverse sine of that so this merge times 2 1.471189 so 1.47118, let us say 9 to 5 decimal places. Therefore, the root alpha is going to be 1.471 to 3 decimal places as required by the question. Here we are for this question. Hope it helps.